Hey everyone, it's Dalton at Dalton and TFs, and today we're taking a look at something I've also been waiting for, just like the last one. This actually came before the previous one, but I wanted to go ahead and show it off, you know, after that, getting that one out of the way. So, here it is, the subscription service 4.0, figure number 5, the one we've all been waiting for. This is going to be, obviously, Bludgeon. Let's go ahead and get his bio card and swords out of here. Remove the foam, and inside we have a very awkwardly placed in there. Get them out without destroying the foam. Go ahead and set that all aside. Because now we really don't need that. So, bring this in. Here we have Bludgeon in his very awesome looking, you know, military vehicle mode. Very beautiful green. Uh, in hand, it's a lot better than here on my camera. Or hopefully, anyways. So. Um, just one second. Whoa. Let's go ahead and try to turn up our exposure just a bit. Maybe right there. So yeah, um, one thing, let's go ahead and flip these down and place these guns as you would on Onslaught because this overall just looks a lot better than having the wings furled out and a little bit of visible head syndrome there, but like I said, very beautiful vehicle mode. Now one thing I wanted to do before getting this guy is get the you know, Revenge of the Fallen 2-pack bludgeon that came with Whirl to show you what this particular, you know, choice made for bludgeon. You know, why it was this particular mold, not a tank or anything else. Just to show that it was based on that. Though everything else, the colors, the even the color of the guns, was based on the original bludgeon figure that was inside the Pretender shell. I mean, the, the central cannon was purple, the rest of the figure was this night, nice bright green. Uh, I do love this kind of rust brown all throughout here. The yellow is a nice little touch as well. I love the silver on the rims. You got the white here up on the grill. There's more silver out throughout and along with the white. Not, not too bad either. So let's go ahead and take these off. Now he does come with these Buster Swords that came with the Transformers Go, you know, EX. Prime that turned into the train and the dragon boat and very nice little touch to add to bludgeon because he was a samurai and a swordsman so let's go ahead and add these the way I prefer to do it just put the blades on like this usually prefer to have it plugged in like that and actually no it's too far uh, it's usually on the second one the second or the third one yeah, the, the very first one right here. So, like that. And same on this other side. Just so you have a way to store the swords in vehicle mode. And it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I've seen some people do it different ways. This, this is just my preferred way of doing it, the way everything is. It, you know, compact as best as it could be, and it kind of hides the obvious, you know, combiner head. So let's move that out of the way, and there is the bio card. So there's the bio and quote, and I'm glad they went back to this more usual plastic with him and Skywarp. I don't know why they're using that weird other, you know, plastic, but oh well. And we've got his stats right here. A very lovely artwork. I, I love how that turned out. So, let's get that set off to the side and bring him in real quick here. And compare him to his other Mayhem Attack Squad members that have been released in this little subscription. And they all look a little awkward because I got all their weapons attached. But you know, nonetheless, very impressive looking group of 
Decepticons here. And I just, uh, again, the color scheme itself is absolutely amazing. This is so late G1, early G2. I I love it. It it speaks to me. I, I love the colors. I'm sitting here rambling now. So let's go ahead and get on to the robot mode. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the transformation this time around. I'm just going to skip it and we will go right into the robot modes because we've seen this a few times already. Uh, I'll link to the onslaught review that I did you know in the description as well as the card right up here. So if you want to check that out you can. Let's go ahead and get this guy into robot mode. And here we have Legend with his comrades in arms all together in probably much the display that I'm gonna have them all in. I might display them in Thunder Mayhem mode but not too sure about that. Oh, and we can't forget another big player in the comic so far. The one that this has started off with about, of course, Ramjet. So there's all those guys. Let's go ahead and get him out of there. Along with all these guys. Just for the time being. And let's focus on Bludgeon himself. Now, right off the bat, I want to mention that he did have some major issues as far as assembly. Those who bought G2 Bruticus and Victoria know of this little issue, if you want to call it little. Uh, try to transform the knees properly. There is a, you know, the, the knee is supposed to be flush on this side, and there's supposed to be a little tab right here on this side that holds everything together in combined mode. Well, Hasbro screwed up in their factories. I don't know if it's their fault or someone else's. You know, they'll probably put the blame on someone else. This is not Fun Publications' part fault. Uh, it is in the fact that, you know, when they got the sample, they didn't say, hey, this needs to be fixed, like, now. Um, I guess they didn't have time to get that fixed as they're trying to get everything they can done before the end of the year and if they had to get this guy fixed you know within that short amount of time he probably wouldn't have been out as early as he was so you know I'm, I'm not going to dog it too much it was it's a really simple fix all you have to do is remove these three screws here separate it here along the side just a little and remove this from here and just shave that off whether you've got uh, a hobby knife or something just don't just don't cut yourself and try not to break this um, I am gonna have to get a little bit of either super glue or floor polish or something just to hold this together the inner pin kind of snapped it's not really a pin it's more like a um, peg and it's been glued in there so I'll have to figure that out I mean it's not a huge deal I mean it's just a little separation but it's going to be an easy fix. Uh, as far as weapons go, you've obviously got the big buster swords and the two cannons. I like having the cannons up over his shoulder. I mean, if you want, you can remove the sword and the gun and flip them around. You can just slide the sword into here. You can get to go any further. There we go. And plug a gun into his hand but it is incredibly loose they should have put either a coat of paint around this you know closer to the you know where it's going to be closer to his fist or something I mean both of them are really really loose so I don't know if it's the tolerances for the hands to get the swords to fit or what but he's not holding onto those guns very well anytime soon so I, I don't know what the trade-off was, what, you know, what they did. But I want to start off, you know, there wasn't as much paint in vehicle mode, but you do still get quite a bit here in the robot mode. You've got all this, you know, kind of rust brown going down to the forearms, even the waist, the chest panel, little sections here on the lower part of the legs, these little bars here. And then you get this really nice kind of, it's kind of hard to describe, it's just, it's like a pumpkin orange here on the shoulders along with his very nice visor. And let's go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt. I mean, it's not, 
you know, the bludgeon, you know, skull samurai helmet that we're going for. But this is the inner robot of bludgeon. You know, this is what this is the real bludgeon right here, not the pretender shell, which I'm glad they went with that. Uh, the head is very much more like a ninja now rather than a samurai having the headband going all the way around even looking like it's been tied at the back so that that looks really cool and this whole head is painted there is no I, I don't even know what color it's molded in it's kinda hard to tell probably white plastic or something I'm, I'm not gonna scratch any off to find out but you get some more of that kind of meat that kind of grayish white plastic here on the chest and the, the details just pop a little bit more here when they're painted, especially that lighter color compared to Onslaught. Just everything about this looks really good. Uh, it's only a shame about the little, you know, factory error, I guess you could say. Oh, and you can also hold this sword. I like that if you choose to have more kind of running pose type looks. So, there's that. Not too much else to go on about this guy. I mean, I I really like how he turns out. He's just amazing. Alright, so, final thoughts on this guy. I uh, really love how he turned out, like I've been saying for the past few minutes. Uh, next, or, you know, starting the next video, we will go into the combined mode for this guy. I'm just kind of sticking with what I usually do. Uh, so, you know, this time we went with, you know, both the other modes while in the video uh, just so I can you know focus on bludgeon himself and you know this is my favorite pose for him right here just with the swords you know one over sh shoulder you know just waiting and then the other at the ready so or you know, you know what I mean so that being said hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of the TFCC or you know subscription service number five brawl cannot wait to get impactor we should be getting that here, you know, at the time of this recording. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party recording this. So, you know, I just got the update on my USPS saying that it should be here sometime next week. It's just showing the shipping label created. So, just guessing here when that should be. So, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, you've probably seen the cards for all the, you know, other subscription service figures so far. Along with the links down in the description. Check that out along with my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Those are all down there, along with the gallery for this guy. Hope you enjoyed. We will get into uh, Thunder Mayhem next time. I'm going to stop rambling. So, see you all later.